Greenville Community Church, I, I'm so sorry uh, that I couldn't be with you this weekend for a really exciting announcement. You know, over the last three months or so since I've been here, I've, I've really diligently been praying and seeking the heart of God and asking for his help as, as it was very clear that we needed to, to make some, some restructuring changes with our staff and, and specifically in two key areas of ministry, in our worship arts ministry and our student ministry. You know, uh, I'd say over about the last two months, Pastor CJ and I, we've, we've been meeting together and, and we've been praying together and seeking God's heart. And it was very clear that the Lord was actually calling CJ away from the student ministry position and into a new role as our worship pastor. And as you've seen over the last couple months, CJ has been doing an amazing job leading us in worship each and every weekend. He's just been doing such a great job. And so over the last month, month and a half or so, uh, I, along with the personnel committee, we've been looking at resumes and been praying and seeking God's heart, knowing that we really needed to find a new student pastor. And so this guy named Ryan Ramsey sort of appeared on the screen and we've had some interviews with him. The, the leadership in our student ministry has had a chance to ask him a lot of questions. And together, after, after really a, a very diligent process of seeking God's heart, uh, I, along with the personnel committee, and, and through praying and seeking God's heart, we are excited to announce to you Pastor Ryan Ramsey as our new student pastor. Ryan. Welcome. Hi. Thanks. You know, uh, here uh, next weekend, I uh, hope that you're going to be back with us. We will officially uh, be welcoming Ryan and his family to the church. But I thought it would be really cool to just, uh, you know, make a little video for you guys this weekend so you can already get to know Ryan a little bit and know more about him. So, Ryan, a, a couple questions for you. If you would, tell us just a little bit about yourself and your family, where you're from. Just give us the lowdown. Got it. Uh, we're from Indiana, so born and raised. I've lived about 10 minutes from home my whole life, so uh, just north of Kokomo a little bit. So I'm married to a beautiful woman named Alyssa. We've been married for uh, seven years, and we have two children, uh, my son Emery, who's four, and my daughter Willow, who is nine months. So yeah. Good. Hey, tell us, because uh, I know everyone would love to know, tell us just a little bit about your journey in ministry and maybe how God has used you over the years. Yeah. Um, well, I went to Indiana Wesleyan University for my undergrad, and it was actually Christian worship was my major. So I set out to be a worship pastor, and uh, my first job right out of school, I got hired as a worship uh, and youth pastor. So did that, had my first experience working with youth and writing curriculum for them and working with them and, and really enjoyed it. Well, I actually left there uh, to become a worship pastor that regard, you know, a full-fledged worship guy. And uh, I actually shared an office with youth pastor. So my um, experience with youth continued as I worked with the, the worship band for the youth and taught them and trained them and got to really pour into their lives and really enjoyed that. Uh, and then the church that I'm coming from, I was the youth and worship pastor again, and uh, this time primarily focusing on youth, just a little bit of worship. And so I was had the opportunity to travel with the youth, to organize events, and uh, to continue to pour into their lives. So uh, it's been uh, really exciting uh, watching youth grow and uh, training them for leaving our ministry. You know, that's the great thing about youth ministry. We're training them to leave our ministry so they can go be um, really successful in their Christian lives um, as they become adults and go to those college years. So yeah, that's kind of where God's brought us. That's good. And I'm sure many people would want to ask you this question. Why Greenville Community Church? Why do you feel like God is calling yeah. you to Greenville, Michigan? Yeah, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked it because, you know, we came up to Greenville to check out the church. Brian sent us this invitation and said, hey, we'd like you to come see what we're doing up here. And uh, we came with an open mind, but weren't real sure we wanted to move three and a half hours away from what we've called home our whole lives. So, uh, but we came here and saw what was happening in Greenville, the community and specifically at GCC and, and really felt a buzz and that something is about to happen here at Greenville and we want to be a part of that. I don't know if you know this, Brian, but every uh, revival in the history of America and the world Mm -hmm. as churches uh, have revivals and stuff and as the Holy Spirit has moved uh, there's always the adult side but they don't always talk about the youth revival that happens alongside every single one and if GCC is gonna have a big move soon if it's gonna have the Holy Spirit come down and really do big yeah. things here like I believe it's about to there's gonna be a big youth explosion too and so we are really excited me and my wife are really excited about the potential for what God's about to do here in the student ministry alongside the explosive ministry Amen. on the adult side so that's why Amen. We're, we're here 
Amen. And uh, I'm going to put you on the spot here. I have okay. one more question for you. Okay. All, all right. Because right? I know that this was like the most important question you guys wanted me to answer when I came here. Okay. Which Michigan football team are you going to cheer for? Uh, the one that I'm supposed to. I don't know. <laughs> Green or blue? Um, it's very important. Uh, blue? <laughs> Green? I don't know. So some of you like Ryan now and some of you don't. I don't, so. want, I don't even know what those represent. That's not fair. Hey, if, it, if it's any consolation, I haven't chosen the team yet. I don't, so I'm, I'm, I don't know who's who. I... I don't know. <laughs> well, you have plenty of time, plenty of time to figure it out. You guys can sway me. <laughs> hey guys, I, I'm so excited. Uh, I know this is just a, a little brief video to give you a glimpse into who Ryan is and his family, uh, but I hope this uh, helps you already sort of connect to him. Um, I wanna ask you uh, to, to do something for me. Uh, my, my prayer is that all of us as a, as a faith family, I wanna ask each of you to start praying for Ryan and Alyssa and Willow and Emery. Uh, this is a huge uh, move for them. They're super excited to come, but as you know, anytime there's a move involved, there's so much that's gonna be happening over the next month and a half with yeah. his family as they pack up, as they close on a home here in Greenville. And so would you please just join me in praying uh, for this amazing family. Uh, guys, they are gonna do an absolutely amazing work here. And I can tell you from, uh, from knowing, knowing Ryan for a little while now, uh, this guy is gonna come and he is gonna love on the students here. He is gonna teach them how to become more and more like Christ each and every day. And this guy's energy, his talents, are just going to be so amazing to add to our family. So if you'd be praying for him, I'd greatly appreciate that. Ryan, welcome to the team, man. Thanks, we're excited.